Hello, Kate here. Today I'm going to show you how to transform old, kind of tired antique chairs like this into chairs like this. There's going to be two stages to the project. The first thing I'm doing is refinishing the wood, and the second thing I'll be doing, which may not be necessary in your case, I will be reupholstering the seat and adding some extra padding. Here's a list of all the tools and materials you'll need. Because there's a little bit of varnish over top this old stain, I'm going to be removing that varnish with a varnish stripper. So in this case, I have to pour this stuff on, spread it out, and then I let it sit for about a half hour. Now my next step is to scrape off the varnish because I can see it's starting to lift from the chair and it was a very thin layer of varnish. So in this case, I'm gonna use some steel wool to remove the varnish and all the gloppy stuff on top here. Now, if it was a thicker layer of varnish or a couple layers of varnish, then I would probably use a scraper because you just wanna lift it from the furniture and when you have a thick layer, it's easier to use a scraper. In this case, I don't really need it. Here I go. See, so I'm just rubbing it really lightly and always go with the grain of the wood. One more thing before I move forward. I tend to use an old toothbrush for these little grooves here so that you get all of that, the varnish and this gunk out of there. It works really well. Now that I've removed the varnish from the chair, wiped it down, allowed it to dry, I can start to sand it. So I'll be using an electric sander with a fine grit sandpaper on it. That's just so that I don't make any gouges in the wood. The next step after sanding down your chairs would be to stain them. So I've already wiped them down with an old rag after sanding them just to get rid of any wood particles because you don't want that sticking to the stain when it dries. You want a nice smooth surface. Now the stain that I'll be using is a min wax. Okay, this is a really good wood penetrating stain, so it really gets into the grain uh, really well. Get some stain on your brush, and then you're gonna start to just whoops, brush it on. Now, you want to make sure there's good coverage all over. You are going to be wiping this down after, but you want to make sure that you get into all of the wood. I've painted the stain onto one side, so I usually like to let it sit for about 30 seconds to a minute. And then what I do is I take a rag and I wipe it down. So grab your rag, make sure you have a smooth kind of surface to, to work with. And then you're just gonna run your rag down in the direction of the grain, always wipe it down. This is just to get rid of any streaks that so doesn't dry weird. Now we're on to the second stage of this project and that's reupholstering these seats here. So I'm gonna start off by removing all of these staples around the edge of the back of the seat. And then I'll also be adding in some additional foam because I never found these very comfortable. So why not make them more comfortable while I can? Now I'm gonna take off the fabric and probably, I'll probably keep this and use it for something else. It's very laggy and, okay. So I'm probably throw this out too. I don't wanna really reuse that. 
The seats are in really good shape. Awesome. Okay, now I'm gonna cut the foam. Initially, I thought it would be a good idea to use the utility knife, but it just kind of picks at the foam. So I needed something really sharp, went to a kitchen knife. Yes, I know it's not a typical way to cut foam, but just showing you how I do it. I do have a cutting board under here. Now that I've cut the foam for the seats, it's time to cut the fabric. I'll be cutting about two and a half inches outside the seat here. Now that's just so that I have enough fabric to pull to the back and comfortably staple. If there's anything left over, like excess fabric, you can always cut that back at the end. So make sure you give yourself enough fabric to work with. If you have any sort of creases in your fabric, make sure that you iron them out before putting the fabric onto the seat. This is just gonna give you a really smooth surface because some of those creases, they might show after you put it on the seat. All right, I'm ready to start putting this together. Make sure there's nothing on your fabric, it's perfectly clean. You're gonna start off face down, so the top of the seat is gonna be facing down, the fabric. Then you're gonna layer on a piece of Daycron Okay, this is just to soften the edges of the foam, which we are now adding. So you add your one inch foam on top of that. If you want a deeper foam, then that's cool. I thought one inch was sufficient. And then I'm gonna add on another layer of Daycron. And then of course, last but not least, actually the most important part, you add your seat. So it looks like a lot of um, foam, but what I'm gonna do is really pull it together and it's gonna be quite comfortable now. The first thing that you're going to want to do when you're attaching the fabric to the back of the seat is you're going to find your center point on all four sides and work your way around and get a nice staple in there. Now I've got my center point Now I'm going to pull this up and it's kind of like right in front of me. Then push down, okay, so that you push the foam down a little bit, kind of compress it and then put one staple there. Now I'm going to do this on all other sides, but I'm going to start with opposite sides. So I'm going to flip this around and do the same, find that center. Now that I've got the four middle sections put in place, I can start working my way around to the corners. So what I'm going to do here, instead of pulling and pulling and pulling and putting staples in like a lot of people would do, I, I'm gonna pull almost like a 45, 50 degree angle. Okay, hold it. And then I'm gonna put the staple in place a few inches from the corner. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing for all the other edges. Okay, all the sides are stapled in. So you see I have all this excess fabric here. I'm gonna cut all this out pretty straightforward. For the corners, you can see here, I didn't do staples all the way to the edge. I kind of went to an inch or two outside. So I'm gonna pull the edge tightly like this. And then I'm gonna staple that. And then now I can fold the sides here. So I'm gonna pull that really tightly. Hold it there, give it a staple. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, right on the edge. Might need a little bit of a hammer for this, okay. Now, this is excess fabric, so I can probably cut this back a little bit more now. 
get better scissors too. Man, it's a lot easier to do it that way. So now I'm just gonna fold this over nicely. And I'm going to do a staple so that one side of the staple is on both sides. So it's kind of bringing it together in the corners. I am not a professional upholsterer, but this worked pretty dang well. I'm going to go put them on the chairs now. I put the seat in place and now I'm just going to secure it from below with the same screws I took out. Super simple. That sucker's not going anywhere. I hope you found this video helpful. For updates on my new videos, make sure you subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below. And a like and a share would be really nice too. You can also follow me on Instagram at kda underscore designs. Thank you so much for watching.